Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's topic is electronic ballast and LED lamp driver. We are talking about applications of uh, power electronic devices. So let us discuss first application that is electronic ballast circuit. Actually, this circuit is used uh, in case of fluorescent lamps. So this is the block diagram of electronic ballast circuit. From the LHS side, we are applying AC supply. This is EMI filter as the name indicates. We have already studied this in detail. Uh, what is electromagnetic interference and how to avoid it. To avoid this, EMI filter is used at the input side. Then this is the rectifier block. As the name indicates, this AC is converted into DC. We are also using rectifier and uh, a capacitor which is acting as a filter. So this is the rectifier block. Next is PFC that is power factor correction block. As the name indicates, this block is used for the correction of power factor. So this is the PFC control uh, signal which is given by from the control unit to this block. Similarly, rectifier gives signal which is a DC control signal to the control unit. And this output of control unit is also connected to high frequency oscillator stage. One more input to this high frequency oscillator stage is the output of power factor correction. So this high frequency oscillator stage converts DC signal into a square wave type of signal. Frequency of this square wave signal is in the range 20 kilohertz to 80 kilohertz, so which is at the higher uh, frequency side. And its output is applied to the electric tube. Now basically this electronic ballast is used for stabilizing current in the electric tube supply circuit. It can be considered as a choke without a starter. In case of normal electric choke, it, it has a starter, but this is a choke without a starter. The gas discharge in the fluorescent lamp is due to the high initial voltage. That means if you are talking about a fluorescent lamp, then uh, initially the gas discharge inside the fluorescent lamp takes place. This is due to the application of high initial voltage, which is around 1000 volt. So, Due to this higher voltage, the gas discharge inside the fluorescent lamp takes place. After discharge process, the voltage across lamp, lamp starts decreasing and it will be around 240 volts. It is done by using the control circuit. Matlab initially, uh, gas discharge is created by pro, pro, providing higher voltage around 1000 uh, 1, volt. Then control unit sends the signal and maintains the voltage which is below 240 volt. So due to this the constant current as well as constant voltage across the lamp is maintained and this is the major uh, function done by the electric, electronic ballast circuit. Its advantages includes the starters are not required. Second high frequency operation because it generates the frequency 20 hertz to uh, 80 kilohertz. 20 kilohertz to 80 kilohertz. So it is a high frequency operation. And so because of this high frequency operation, we can have instantaneous switch on on the lamp and there is no flickering. So third advantage is no flickering and it can be used for the energy saving purpose. Disadvantage includes the circuit is bulky in nature. The cost is high. So these are the major disadvantages as far as this electronic ballast circuit is concerned. The next application is LED lamp driver using SCR or track. This is basically used for household applications. We are designing, we are considering a circuitry which will switch on the LED lamp which operates at 6 volt supply. So this is the corresponding circuit diagram. At the input side, we are applying 230 volt single phase AC input uh, supply. This is a step down transformer. At the secondary, we are using the center tap connection. As shown in this diagram, D1 and D2, these two diodes forms a full bridge convergence circuit. So it converts AC supply into DC signal. One more connection is shown. That means the output of this secondary is given or connected to diode D3. Then through resistance R1 and through this path, it is connected to the battery. So. At this point, you can say the available voltage is pulsating DC signal or it is output of full wave rectifier. So this signal is applied for the charging of battery and accordingly the 
charging of battery is continuous. Now, as I said, D1 and D2 forms a rectifier circuit which rectifies, which converts AC signal into DC signal. It produces the output voltage around 6 volt. This is available at the at this point of the capacitor. So, due to this 6 volt, uh, the charging of capacitor starts taking place. Now, observe this diagram carefully. At this point, at the upper plate of capacitor, around 6 volt voltage is available, which is connected to the to this terminal of SCR. This voltage is slightly higher than the battery voltage. So, SCR will be turned off. SCR will remain turned off because this voltage is less than the battery voltage. Battery voltage is connected to this point, to the anode terminal. So, cathode terminal voltage is less than the anode. So, SCR will remain turned off because of which this 6 volt, almost 6 volt supply is applied across the lamp and glowing of lamp takes place. This is the way how this uh, simple LED lamp driver circuitry works. Now, advantages of this circuit, it is a low power consumption application, then second, small size, third, high, it is a high speed operation and fourth, in many uh, lamps, Rather, light reflectors are required, but in this case, light reflectors are not required. The disadvantage is, it is basically used, I mean, this, this circuit is a driver circuitry for LED lamp. And LED are temperature uh, sensitive devices. That means as the operating temperature increases, the voltage across LED decreases. And once the voltage decreases, it draws more current. So, these are the temperature dependent uh, circuits and it is the voltage sensitive uh, circuit. So these are the advantages and disadvantages of LED lamp driver. So dear students, that's it for today's session. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.